What's up, keepers? Alvin GK1 here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is an unboxing showcase video that I've been doing a little series of. And basically, in these videos, you'll be able to see me take some gloves out of a bag and give you my opinion, my first thoughts, and generally what I like, what I don't like, and a little bit of history about the gloves. So stay tuned, hit that like, share, subscribe, and comment below any kind of questions you have, and let's get into it. In today's video, I'm actually unboxing the All Sport Finger Surround Absolute Grip Eliminator. Probably said the names in the wrong way, but you get the drift. Long names for gloves these days seem to be a common occurrence. These gloves, they released back in 2017 and these feature that Absolute Grip Plus. So it's a step up and a new take on the Absolute Grip Latex, which has been one of all sports best latex throughout the years. It's been superseded by the Super Grip Latex from All Sport, but the Absolute Grip Latex is still a match level elite latex that is used today by many pros on their SMU gloves. What I like about the Absolute Grip myself personally is the softness of the latex. Compared to the Super Grip, the Super Grip seems to be a more rigid latex. Even though it's very tacky, the latex itself seems to be very rigid and not as a soft compound as say the Absolute Grip Plus latex is. These gloves feature a full negative roll finger. So every seam, as you can see from the outside seam to the inside seams on all the fingertips is negative cut, it's stitched inside so it gives that optimum tightness and tight feel on your fingers. Now, some people can find the finger surround a bit too tight or a bit too loose or baggy, depending on the shape of your fingers. But for me, I've got, as you can see, long, slim fingers, and I find them not too long, not too tight, or not too baggy. It seems to be the perfect combination for me, personally. If you've got short, stubby fingers, you might find the finger lengths a bit long, or the width of the fingers might be too tight and same if you go the other way around so for me it seems to be something that suits my hand shape and fingers a lot better on the back hand you can see it's got a little 3d shock zone and also the logo the traditional and very recognizable all sport logo the wrist strap is just a basic latex wrist strap nothing special um, with two velcro points it's just something that just helps secure your hands and wrists inside the gloves and stops any unwanted movement seems to be a trend these days with um, strapless gloves and what you'll find a lot of keepers who wear strapless gloves they tape the hell out of their wrists to make sure there's no movement why tape up your wrists when you can just have a latex wrist strap now i'm a fan of latex wrist straps or the double wrist straps or wrist straps in general because it just makes the glove fit more secure and more comfortable for me personally i've got skinny wrists so i always have to do my wrist straps tight but if you're wearing strapless gloves you don't have to do it at the wrist straps but you do sacrifice the security that i personally prefer now with these gloves they're featuring that absolute grip latex as mentioned and this is in a striking yellow colorway now absolute grip you can't go wrong with it in a dry and damp conditions like many latexes it's not a wet weather latex but you can use it in the wet weathers if it's pouring down chucking it down you might want to go for a specialist at the latex but the absolute grip plus will do you well and generally it won't let you down unless you've literally wore the latex through to the cotton underneath or the backing material now having these gloves on hand these are a 10.5 i'm generally i fluctuate depending on the glove brand with all sport they tend to come up say half a size bigger if you like your gloves nice and snug maybe drop that half a size which is what i've done i'm generally usually 11 but as i know that all sport come up slightly bigger i've dropped to 10 and a half even though it's a negative roll cut which is generally 
a tighter fitting glove. Perfect for me. As you can see, flexible gloves. Some people don't like the feel of roll fingers or negative rolls because they feel find them too bulky. Personally, with this model, I don't find them too bulky at all. It's a nice, for me, streamlined glove, streamlined fingertips. What you'll find, as it's a negative stitch glove, you will find wear to the fingertips of where it's stitched tightly, negatively, a lot more faster than anywhere else. Doesn't mean it's a crap glove or a crap cut. It's just one of the things that happen with all kinds of negative gloves where we a negative hybrid, negative cut, traditional, or what. Just where the most tension is on the latex and the stitching and when you're constantly picking up the ball or pulling up your socks. Try not to pull up your socks when you're wearing negative cut gloves because you will find that um, they will wear away with the friction of the socks. Now, there's a couple of keepers that I've noticed that wore the neg roll from All Sport and that has been Michel Vaughan when he was at Tottenham Hotspur and Thomas Craft. I really like the colourway of these gloves and bright gloves, you can't go wrong. What can I say? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again on the next video. So let's stay tuned and take a look at the pictures.